Hey everyone, I just want to make one brief quick message too on this before you start this. I do not think that it is saving it anywhere. I might just not know where it is. I've been trying to find it here. So just know that before you start running a whole bunch of them. So what I'm doing, I'm just saving them manually while I do it. So there might be a way here in this code somewhere to get it to save, but right now I'm just not finding it. So anyways, I just want to let you know that so you don't run off, you know, like 20 images and then figure out that you do not have them anymore or can't find them. So I'm not sure again if any of these lines it, if it is saving somewhere right now. It doesn't look like it. So I'm just right clicking and saving the images for now. All right. So anyways, this is not really a guide or anything. This is just kind of a link to this notebook where you can go and try Stable Diffusion 2.0. Hello, everybody. So this is just a kind of a news update. There is a Stable Diffusion 2 out. And I've been looking at a few of these, and there do seem to be some issues with it. Some people don't like it and are not really happy with it because they took out things like a lot of living artists and stuff. But I know that if you're anything like me, though, you just want to check it out and run it. And it does make some pretty nice images. So what I've done is I have just found this notebook where you really don't have to do much of anything. So I just got this because I wanted something I could just run and test and is simple and so I do have a link down below to this notebook now I'm sure also D forum and auto 111 and all that will probably be coming out with versions you know over the next couple of weeks so I will be keeping you updated but I just wanted to post kind of the easiest way to get it up and running for you and this is a notebook that I found on reddit and it works really good for generating images now also one other thing before you do this I am using this with the a100 so I, I haven't tested it yet with the lower processors and I don't know if I'm going to do too much testing on this. This is just kind of something that if you just want to check it out and look at it, this is something you can do really quickly. So here is the page, as you can see, and all you need to do is just run everything and then I'll show you how to enter the prompt. But the very first thing you want to do is copy it to your drive. So that's what I'm going to do here. And I've actually already done that, but we'll go ahead and do that again. And then I'm going to go ahead and get in and use my copy. So that's always the first thing you want to do. Okay, so here I am in my copy. And again, we're just going to run everything. And it didn't take too long. Last time I did it, it took maybe, I don't know, five or ten minutes to load everything. So we're just going to go down the list here. And you just run everything in order. So I'm just going to go ahead and click run on all of these. And then when we get, where is it, down here a ways, we will see where we can enter our prompt. Okay, and here we go. Here's where we enter our prompt, and here's the default image that they made of a cat eating ice cream. And you see this also comes with an upscaler, so it makes really detailed high-res images, which is also kind of nice. And let's go ahead. Once this gets run, I'm just going to enter a prompt here. A starship battle in outer space because I tried some of these and it really does the outer space I think better than the last models we've had so we'll go ahead and give this a try let's make it a little interesting and put a couple things in there and so once this all gets loaded I'll just come back and we'll run it okay everything is ready to go and that didn't take too long at all maybe five minutes if that so let's go ahead and run it and we'll look at a couple of images here Okay, and there is our first image, and you can see that is really detailed and really good resolution. So we're going to be able to make some fantastic stuff with this in the very near future. Like I said, I will be keeping my eyes open. But for now, I'm just going to run a few prompts, and that's really all this video is going to be. I just wanted to let you guys know that you can come here and try it out already and make some pretty cool images also to go and post to your Twitter feed or Instagram or whatever of the new Stable Diffusion 2 model. Let's go ahead now and let's try a couple of portraits as well. Let's see how it does with vampires. I know vampires, we've always had kind of issues with their teeth. So I'm just going to try this. And see how their fangs come out. And then we'll do a couple landscapes, things like that. We'll just try to get in a few samples here of everything. Oh wow, that is pretty bad. Let's let's go and modify our prompt a little bit here. Let's 
And I've also been reading that the prompting is a little different too. So once we get like, you know, a more functional notebook that has videos and everything, we'll I'll be making some videos on some of the new prompting as well we use with this because they it looks like they did change a lot of things with this aside from the model. So let's see if we can get a realistic female vampire first and then we'll move on to landscapes or something. Okay, well, there we go. You can see that is a very realistic portrait, though, especially the eyes there. That definitely looks like an improvement there. Doesn't much look like a vampire, but oh uh, well. Let's go ahead. Let's go try a couple landscapes first. And I'm just going to do really kind of just generic prompts right now. Nothing too fancy. So this one, I'm just doing a castle in a fantasy landscape in front of a lake at dawn with god rays behind it. God rays kind of give you that cool kind of effect behind the image of light light beams coming out. So I always like that in my prompts. It really adds some drama to them usually. Hey, there we go. like that. That's a really nice kind of dramatic image. Yeah, I really like that. Cool. All right, so yeah, this is going to be the next step. You know, this technology improves so fast. I anticipate within a year or two, we're going to be making full videos and things with it, like coherent videos, like where we can actually describe actions, like people walking, that kind of thing. At the rate this tech is going, we are going to have a very exciting future for us with AI art. Let's go see. Let's see. What haven't we done yet here? Let's do just something weird. Blue furry monster blocking traffic. Let's try something like that. Uh, there we go. That is definitely kind of weird looking there. Okay, what should we try next? Let's try a portrait again. We didn't get a very good portrait before. Let's try a... Okay, we got a portrait of a Viking warrior with glowing blue eyes and an obsidian helmet. Realistic detail. Let's put a fantasy art in there also. And again, I'm not sure which of these prompts are not having much effect anymore or how it's been changed. I just kind of wanted to try it out. And this, this is really good to just get you up and running and try out some images here. All right, there we go again. Pretty nice detail there, especially with this upscaling. So that'll save us a lot. So let's try a, let's change her to a female and let's change her to a, I'll just leave it like that. We'll put amber eyes. And you know what, we'll put a photograph. See if that adds a little realism to instead of a portrait. All right, there we go. Let's do let's do let's do a couple more landscapes really quick. Let 
And we'll take out the art station and fantasy art. All right, and there we go, some nice colors, not really detailed though. Yeah, that one's not really good. Let's try, let's see, let's do another one. Let's do, let's do one of my dramatic ocean scenes always. This is probably one of the first prompts I started doing. Okay, we're going to do a sci-fi fortress citadel in a stormy ocean with giant waves and lightning in the sky. And we'll go ahead and make this the last one so you guys can get out there and make your own. I know if you're as anxious as I was to try this out, you'll want to be, you're probably doing that already. But there will be some updates to this coming out in the future. And like I said to a lot of people really don't like this version because there's there was like a lot of censorship and everything on it. Uh, yeah, that one's okay. So I'm getting kind of mixed results here. So I'm definitely going to have to research a bit on the prompting here as well. So I will be having videos coming up very soon in the near future about this exciting development. So once again, everyone, thank you for watching. And I will be back soon. Go and make some cool images with the Stable Diffusion 2.